Puerto Rico. Whoa, Puerto Rico. Whoa, Puerto Rico. Whoa, whoa. WWE. Whoa. Whoa, backlash. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know who this is. This is your lovable widower, Prince DJ, and the sheriff of Big D Country. And AC, Charles are, coming here. Yeah, we're here to talk about the aftermath of backlash. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's jump right into it. Bianca Belair, or as Deshaun called him, Bian- called her Bianca Bear. <laughs> Bianca Bear. <laughs> I still can't believe I let that out. <laughs> exactly. Bianca Belair defeated Io Sky by pinfall. She and Bianca Belair, I mean, Bianca Bear is still the Raw Women's Champ. Oh, I hope her husband doesn't attack me because of that. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I think she's gonna, but she's going to whip her hair back and forth and whip her hair back and forth. <laughs> yeah, it was a one, it was a, but there was a double turn during that oh. match. The people turned, the, the fans turned on Bianca Belair and they started then they turned face on damage control. <gasps> Wait. Uh in the words of Arnold and different souls, who's the dumb mouse Yeah, They started what? booing Bianca Belair during the match. What what <laughs> Man, huh? what is going on? What? Okay, uh, was there no. a full moon in Puerto Rico or something? What are they, in Bizarro World or something? Wait, wait, wait. Damage control is a heel. Bianca Belair's <laughs> face, what are they doing? Exactly. Are they in Bizarro Land or something? Uh, I don't know. I, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is... Yeah, this, yeah, this is getting a little confusing on my end. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but 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 safe to say she still is the Raw Women's Champ. Man. Oh boy. I hope okay, she don't go. Yeah. I hope Bianca yeah, Bello yeah. don't go heel now. Oh boy. Yeah. Well she did debut as a heel in NXT when she first started. Oh oh wow. Yeah, and we got Seth Rollins defeated Omos with MVP by pinfall. Woo! That was that was really good. Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah. <laughs> I can yep. I couldn't help Austin, it. Yeah, Austin Theory is still the United States heavyweight champ. He defeated both Bobby Lashley and Bronson Reed by pinfall. Oh, I bet you Bobby Lashley was mad. Oh, and let's say long shot on this one. Zelina Uh-oh. Vega did not get the job done. Did you see her beautiful emotional entrance? Oh, my God. Did you yes, see that I entrance? Did. They showed it on yes. YouTube. And then, and then when, when the, and what got to me down, I was saying, no, the commentator was saying she was trying to win it for her father, uh, her late father, but then... When I found out that, uh, that, uh, that Selena lost and they showed the fans still cheering for her even in defeat, I got mad. I don't, I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like uh, 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 Rhea Ripley anymore. It's over yep. between us. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and getting the next, the, match, <laughs> the next match in the next match was the Puerto Rican Street Fight. Ooh. With all the- and Bad Bunny defeated defeated one of the members of Judgment Day. But let's just say some legends made an appearance during that match. And that's cool. Fabio Vega. Oh, wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> and Carlito, Caribbean cool. Now that's cool. I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. 
<laughs> like I'm Dominic Mysterio and Finn Balor. Exactly. And what Congress is doing right now in D.C., that's not cool. That's not that's cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> in the penultimate right. match, Bloodline faced Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Matt Riddle in a six-man tag team match. During the match, Sokoa mistakenly caught his partner Jay by his throat for the Samoan spike but stopped his attack. In the climax, Riddle was unaware that Sokoa was the legal man performed a bow Derek on Jay but went for the pin. So Sokoa entered the ring pouring the Samoan spike on Riddle and pinned him to get the win for the bloodline. Now they're back on track. They're back on track. Wow. In the nice. main, or main event, Cody Rhodes faced Brock Lesnar. Before the match could begin, Rhodes attacked Lesnar ringside with a steel chair at the steel steps and the mantelpiece of the announce table. After both ends of the ring, the match officially started. However, Lesnar began to deliver numerous German, German suplexes with Rhodes pinned in the corner. Brock went for an attack, but Rhodes dodged and sent Lesnar exposed into the exposed steel turnbuckle. Severely cutting and open, Rhodes was, event, was able to capitalize the series, a series of cutters followed by two crossroads for a near fall. And attempting a third crossroads, Lesnar reversed into an F5 for a near fall. And in the final moments, Lesnar applied the Kamara lock for only for Rhodes to leverage Lesnar into a pin and gain the victory. Cody Rhodes wins that one by pinfall. Yes. Yes. Finally. That's good. Finally. But after the end of the match, Brock Lesnar got a standing ovation from the WWE Universe as a show of respect. Uh, Huh? As a show of respect for everything he's done in WWE, Brock Lesnar got a show of respect from the WWE fans for everything he's done in his career. So let me guess. He's retiring. Again. He's he's retiring down the line because, you know, down the line he might be retiring because, you know, he's probably getting too old for it, though. Yeah. He's back in his 50s. Oh, wow. I mean, he's, he's, did, he's did a lot in his career, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I mean, I like this some of his, uh, I like this some of his face work myself. You know, on the cowboy hat, hat type. And the streak, you can't forget about that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Boy, but that one must have been some double main event. <laughs> sure. Yes, I am shocked that I was looking. At, I was looking all night and waiting for the press conference, like they usually do on premium pay per view. There wasn't. It. There was no press conference. Nothing. No. No. Uh. Triple H. No. No. Uh. Wrestling reporters from different podcasts and whatnot. No winners. Because well, there was one during. Because there, there was one during the morning. Because there was one during the morning. I think. Maybe there was some kind of different law. Maybe there's some kind of different law in Puerto Rico or something like that. I don't know. No, no, there no because they want to do one during the day this time. I'm trying to hype up everyone up for the pay per view. <gasps> oh, okay, got it, got it. Okay, wow. And I like the way oh. I like the way you're announcing the the, uh, the the results. You sound like a commentator at WWE yourself. Yeah. I like it. Wow, maybe they maybe they should have drafted you, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, but I like doing freelance, so I'm just I'm just for the fun of it. Yeah, well, you always got you always got work with me, so you don't have to worry about that. So. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah, I like so, doing it for fun. You know. Any final thoughts of? Uh, I I think it was kind of shocking the way everything went down, especially uh, the the uh, the crowds. Uh, uh, mixed fa- uh, mixed turn, and then and then the confusion, and then uh, and then uh, everything that went on with Selena, and then and then the uh, 
I, 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 I just been, everything just been crazy, but thank goodness, thank goodness, um, Cody finally, well, finally finished one of the stories. Yeah. Wow. So, speaking of finish the story, do you have anything to say before you finish this story? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, we've actually got an anime convention coming up this summer. Oh, wow. Are you going to go? Yep. Yes, oh. me and Cherish will be attending Anime Matsuri in downtown Houston, Texas this summer. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah. Just be careful of that heat. We've been down, yeah, we've been down there numerous times for that convention. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, good, 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 good. You always bring well, a lot of water with us. Oh, that that's good. That's good, yeah. If I would have ever went, I would have to bring some flavored water. I think uh, Dr. Irene told me about a water called Hint, but uh, I'm kind of waiting to, for Live Good to come up with their own flavored water. <laughs> 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 uh, you know me about Live no. Good. And, and then I can't yeah, no. wait till I get to the second palace so I can start ordering my CBD oil. I need, you know, like, yeah, like yeah. I said, at the time of this broadcast, it's cloudy over here in Houston and it's working with our, our uh, separate, uh, you know, type, type of depressions and whatever we have. But uh, I can't get the CBD oil because the, the money will be going to the place. But if you want to check out the product for yourself, you go to... Livecouture.com slash Big D Country. Livecouture.com slash Big D Country. And uh, there's a video on their YouTube channel, and I think it was neat because they just did a video at the time of this recording about uh, mental health awareness. And I think, now I think that was so awesome that they did that. So if you want to watch their YouTube video and uh, take a look at the video, it says, uh, uh, I, think it, I know they call it product training, but they just said product training, mental health awareness. And I think it's so cool because a lot of us are struggling and suffering with that right now. Yeah. Oh. All right. Now, you did so well on Jerry Springer's final thoughts that I'm going to let you make another one. Do you have any more final thoughts? Just have a great week, and we'll see you next time. And until th- until then, take care of yourself and well, each other. Each other. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, right. don't forget, don't uh, uh, got back up t- got dot com slash uh, fifty country twelve. Uh, got back up dot com slash fifty fifty country twelve. I know, long story, but anyway, <laughs> Cheryl, it's been a total blast having you as always. I wanted to make this announcement public, but you already know uh, know this. Uh, Cheryl, you are no longer just a guest. You are now a contributing member of the Big D Country, uh, Big D Country's Palace team. You are in there, my friend. Congratulations. Go host. Go host. That's right. That's right. I call them contributing team, but yeah, you made it. You made it. Thank you, brother. Thank you, bro. All right. All right. And we're yeah. clear. And wait, but once we're clear, we're out of here. We are out of here. <laughs>